Hi, this is D-Nice the Digital Dynamo, and this is a brief demonstration on how to bring music into Windows Movie Maker and then merge them and do a fade in and fade out. First we open up our Windows Movie Maker and then we go to Import Media. We then look for Music. And then I need to find some music that I would like to include in my presentation. We have these WMA files, which is Windows Media Audio. So I'll click this first track, 7. And then I'm going to go and actually pick another track, 11. So now I have my two tracks. What I want to do now is bring my first track in and let's make sure that it plays as you can see. Okay, so we hear that that plays fine. But I only want about 35 seconds of this particular song. And it doesn't have to end. I just want to cut it off at 35 seconds which is right about here. So I just click on 35 seconds I've already highlighted the audio music track in Windows Movie Maker and now I'm going to hit split. So now I have two separate pieces that you wouldn't even know had split if I play through it. You'll see. You but I only want 35 seconds so what I do is I click on the second piece that I do not want and I just hit delete and it's gone. Now I want to bring in my other track, track number 11. I grab it, and as the kids say, I drop it like it's hot. There it is. So now I have two different tracks. Listen to the differences. So obviously we have two different tempos to these songs. So how do we merge them? So what I'm doing is I'm preparing this music to actually go on a multimedia presentation where I have various different photographs. So what you do is you click on your second track and you see how your cursor turns to a hand. See that? And you see how there's a bar that goes around the music section? You know that's the section that's highlighted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gently push this into the first song and you notice of the triangle here it's showing you how far in so it's going in about five seconds into this song how do I know it's five seconds you see here that it's 35 seconds here where that track ended and I pushed in track number 11 into 30 seconds so now we have one track and we're going to play it very briefly. The next track. Okay, so now what we want to do to make it even more authentic, we want to fade out of the first track as it merges into the second track. So I'm going to click that. You see we have our hand again. I'm going to hit my right button and I'm going to hit fade out. And that's basically telling the song that when it gets near the end I want it to fade out. Now I'm going to go to the second track see the border around it saying that I selected it and I have a hand instead of an arrow. See that? I'm going to right click and then I'm going to hit fade in. So now let's see how it sounds. Isn't that nice? Now one of the things I notice is that the sound is a little bit low. So I might want to click on my track and go to volume. It's already up high. So that's probably as high as it's going to go. Let me try the other one and see. Okay, so they both are up high. So that's fine. So then, once you've finished your track, you want to check and make sure it hasn't gone... Like, I only want this track to go for a total of a minute. So let's go over here to one minute 
I'm going to click right here. It puts my bar. It's already highlighted the second track and I'm going to hit split. I'm going to click the second piece and now I have a one minute very nice transition from track number seven to track number eleven and it totals one minute. I go to file I save it as a project you can give it a title music one two three now remember when you save it as a project it is not the same as saving it as an actual multimedia presentation in order to do that you want to go to file and publish the movie and then it gives you the option to save it to the computer record it on a CD you could send it as an email or record to a, a, a video we want to save it to the computer hit next there it is music one two three it's already set up to where it's gonna go I hit next it asks me what quality I usually do best quality it tells me how much space it's taking up it tells me what the um, file name will be and then I hit publish and then of course I can play the music and your Windows uh, media player will open up and there's your song so that's it isn't that simple so I've shown you how to go into Windows Movie Maker and bring in two songs how to mix the songs together create a fade in fade out how to splice or edit the music how to save it as a project and then how to publish it you can do this this is D-Nice the Digital Dynamo in the relentless pursuit in taming the technology tiger. And check us out at www.thedigitaldynamo.com. Take care.